Hey everyone, welcome back to my No More Heroes Let's Play. Um, remember last time we just uh, achieved rank 6 after a very sad ending to the rank 6 fight in which Holly kills herself after sharing a very, I guess, touching moment with Travis. Alright, now we're going to do a couple more jobs and a couple more assassination gigs before moving on to the next rankings fight, like always. Oh, uh, it's less than a month until No More Heroes 2 comes out. That's right. And I'm very excited, and I'm definitely going to get it the very first day it comes out. And... What I've seen so far, um, there is no more open world like this. You don't get to drive around town anymore like this. From what I understand, there's like a map in which you can just select your destination and you'll go there instantly. All the jobs are going to be in 8-bit style, which is very, very awesome. i seen a few pictures and I saw, um, I guess, a 8-bit rendition of uh, the coconut job. The very first job Travis gets. If I understand, there also appears to be some cooking jobs involved. And I'm also, I've also heard that there, the rankings are going to be changed. that uh, there's no rank 1 through 10, there's like rank 50, I think, but you don't fight 50 bosses. <laughs> so I guess the ranking system in No More Heroes 2 will be like, uh, kind of be like Mad Worlds, in that, um, if you defeat a boss in Mad Roll, you'll actually jump up several ranks. That's what I'm guessing a more Heroes 2 would be like. Alright, now this job, you have to find mines that have been planted in the beach here and disarm them with the Bean Katana. Yeah, the jobs are getting pretty dangerous now. Thought I got one there. Alright. You have to wait until the beeps get more frequent. Okay. Pretty much wait until the A prompt comes up before you use the bean katana. Don't go too fast unless you'll... I don't know if you can actually hurt yourself in this. Always make sure to be careful anyways. I'm also very excited for the combat in No More Heroes 2, especially the dual bean katanas. We'll just walk around here, picking up mines. No, it's not very exciting to watch. Alright, I got it. Alright, 
Come on. Come on. There we go. I don't know what the exact requirement for the gold ranking is here. But I think it's safe to say that I have it already. I don't know if it will. I don't think it did. No, it didn't. Got a gold anyway, it's good. The thing about this job that it's very close to the agency or the job center. Perhaps his bike, his motorcycle is going to be still going to be there. You'll still be able to drive it. However, it'll be used differently than in this game here. Dark side battle. Yeah, this one, this jo this gig here is pretty fun. If, I'm, if I remember correctly, uh, you spend the entire duration of the, the gig in Travis's dark side mode, which in which I call him the ultimate badass. You just had to you follow the on-screen prompts to instantly kill the enemy. If you press the wrong button, he'll he'll do his taunt. Over here, the parking garage again. This parking garage is going to be notorious for. <laughs> I wonder how many body bags have been filled with bodies from this place. They'll have beam katanas, but you don't have to worry about them hurting you. Raspberry chocolate sundae! It's very chocolate scented, bitch. That is so awesome. <laughs> I can notice while in the raspberry chocolate sundae mode, some enemies will start crawling away from you in fear. I press the wrong button there. My got to talk to me like that. After I'm just slashing through their bodies with minimal effort. Ooh. 
Alright, that's it.